We're back now at 8 o'clock on this Monday morning, the second day of April, 1990. And finally, in Chicago on Sunday, a golden retriever was the big winner at the International Kennel Club's annual spring show. Best of show honors went to the dog with the formidable name, champion Osterling's Wild Blue Yonder. The dog's owners, though, call him James. That's the news of this hour. Deb, Stephen? All right, Joan, thanks a lot. Do you have a dog? No, no, and thank God I don't have to say that name every no, morning. No, well, I can see why they call him James. <laughs> James has everything. He's brilliant, a great friend, a champion athlete, the envy of all his competitors, a prolific father, and he's gorgeous besides. Who is this paragon? Meet James, the wonder dog. Come on, I have to get down closer. I can't throw that far. James, come. James looks like your garden variety golden retriever. What a good boy. He's of Scottish descent, bred to retrieve small game. The hunter may not want to get soaked retrieving for himself. James will retrieve for his owner, Mary Burke, until he drops. Come on, fetch it. Or gets distracted. Come. Come on. Oh, you little snot. This is typically called the Golden Retriever Parade Route. Strides out easily and well, tail wagging. But James is no typical Golden Retriever, and Mary Burke, no typical owner. Retrievers have the great temperament for kids. Yes, they do. Not a mean bone in their bodies. And the moment is now. And then they'll let them stop. The golden and there it is, the golden retriever. Best in show. The crowd is wild, the dog is wild. James won over, over 2,500 other dogs in Chicago. This is Golden Retriever, number 251. James was best in breed at Westminster Dog Show, beating 99 other dogs. And he keeps on winning. Over 100 best of breed wins in a year. James was the number one golden in 1990. Top dog. And his breeder, owner, and handler, Mary Burke, is getting a lot of attention, too. I feel like I've had a fantasy come true. You have a fa fantastic dog. Thank you. In the world of big-time competition, she's a rarity, a nurse, a working girl with an extraordinary talent and an extraordinary dog. Real good, and he loves to Mary Burke has no big financial backers. She's an outsider, a small-town girl competing in a world where corporate executives, celebrities like Bill Cosby, and Blue Bloods own and promote the careers of many of the top dogs where relationships among judges, breeders, handlers, and big business is often uncomfortably close, where the best dog doesn't always win because of politics. Mary, Mary, Mary. Go. Mary. they're going in. Good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. James' beginning was unremarkable. He was one of six boys born three years ago. Prospective buyers passed him by twice. Bert called the litter the Blues Brothers. I just hung on to him to wait and see what was going to become of him. Uh, and as time went by, I realized that I had done the right thing in hanging on to him because those things that I had doubts about, being a little smaller, a little finer puppy, just sort of, he blossomed. He's real full of himself, and he knows it. And that shows in his carriage and his gait. To keep that carriage, that gate, James trains just like any other professional athlete, a daily ritual. We followed him recently during a typical day in the life of a champion. We're gonna increase the speed now up to five miles an hour. He's starting to get warmed up, so we know the blood supply is getting to the muscles and we're gonna stress him a little harder. When the judge is comparing one dog to the next, I want to have the hardest, most muscular dog out there, especially in a sporting breed. These are working dogs. They have to be in shape. After exercising, James dines with Mother Belle, daughter Hannah, and grandmother Aruba. Aruba, 12, is a renowned national champion herself. His diet is carefully planned and measured, and uh, we add some of the vitamin supplements that he needs extra doses of because of the stress in his life. Belle, James, good boy, huh? After lunch, grooming. 
likes as much handling and personal attention as he can possibly get. I think it's kind of nice when a judge opens his mouth to examine his teeth if he has nice smelling breath. You just kind of brush it in. James' success has turned him into a breadwinner. He's a stud dog who's in demand because he's a champion. There's the guy. There's the guy. James' sperm is chilled and sent to qualified dogs around the country by Dr. Robert Brown. Burke wants to keep the breed healthy, genetically sound, and with a loving temperament. Keeping her dog family together on the road and healthy costs Burke about $25,000 a year. Come on, let's go see Dick. To help pay expenses, Burke hey. is a nurse at night for a private patient, Dick Charles. Hey, do you want to come say hi to Dick? Come on, come on up. He's trying to give you a kiss. He's blowing you a kiss. Say hi. James provides something to Dick that the nurses can't give him. The animals don't judge you, they don't stare at you, they don't treat you any differently, and Dick doesn't want to be treated differently, and James knows this. Then on weekends, it's showtime. We'd like to welcome you to the sixth annual Purina Invitational. The gossip in the tent was that an award-winning Springer Spaniel was a sure thing. Its handler is head of the Professional Handlers Association. He's owned by a doctor and a lawyer. I realize that we are up against the odds, being an owner handler. But if we perform well, I'll be just as happy as when we win. You may not win as often because of the politics, but when you do, it's twice as sweet. On this day, the Springer Spaniel, Condor, was top dog. He won $2,500. James came in third, winning 150. The golden retreat. Even though we didn't win today, I'm delighted that my dog showed well under the circumstances. It was very hot and he put out, and I'm pleased. I'm really happy with my life the way it is right now. Um, I know I don't have a permanent relationship in my life. I'm missing out on some of the things my girlfriends have, a family, a husband, um, but right now this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do. I have no doubt about that at all. Come here, give me a hug. Oh, he's a good puppy. Yes, he is. That's togetherness. That's right, mm -hmm. and James is due to become a father again today for the 31st time. Oh, a litter of puppies any minute now. It's a happy Father's Day, James. Mm, a real I dog. What they story. get them? A little <laughs> flea collar. Or you don't have a dog, do you? I've got two. You got two? Yeah. You have a treadmill for your dog. No, right? I don't, but I am getting a stairmaster for <laughs> oh. him, so that'll be really nice. <laughs> it's amazing. We'll going up the stairs. Well, we'll have more in just a moment. We're going to have the news and the weather from Brother Roker as we continue here on Sunday today. We'll be right back. Here. Now, remember on Father's Day, we brought you the story of a champion show dog and mentioned James was to become a father any second. Well, babies come when they're good and ready. They did, a day late, and the adult grandparents were ready with the home video camera. That's it, hold it. His full name is Champion Asterling James, Wild Blue Yonder. And the day after Father's Day, Top Dog was a daddy again. Owner breeder handler Mary Burke, who's a nurse, estimates this is James' 25th litter, with six more on the way. Two months ago, James met Topaz, a stunning girl of three from Plymouth, Mass. This is one of seven girls and five boys. Out of Topaz and James, um, they were born June 17th. Topaz is owned by Julie McKinnon, a working girl who, with her partner, Bonnie Daly, own Nautilus Golden Retrievers. They've produced nine champion show dogs so far. And one boy, and one down and under. If you look closely, you'll see a puppy still inside the birth sack. They weighed one to one and a half pounds at birth and will drink mother's milk only for three weeks. The puppies are born into a world of darkness and silence, but in 10 days, those little eyes and ears will open and Julie, Bonnie, and Topaz will have their hands full. The comfort of mother. When Topaz finishes nursing her pup, she'll begin training to finish her own championship. No more puppies for a while for this working girl. Congratulations to all.
How do you follow that? And this late word from the kennel front, James won best in show at the Alaska Kennel Club show this past week. Obviously, father shows best. There'll be no problem there placing all those pups, I imagine. <laughs>